Hello Bonjour friends, I'm here with my 2018 setup of my new bullet journal. I'm using a Leuchtturm 1917 in copper and it's dotted. So I'm starting off my planner, my bujo with a wreath and I wanted to have a cover page for 2018 so I just drew a simple wreath and added flowers, like doodled flowers all around it. If you would like to recreate any of the more creative pages that I, I will show you, I will offer most of the designs that I made in my Etsy shop, which I, I will link down below. Um, I don't know if they will be up already or not, but they will be up at, at some point and you will be able to recreate everything really simple with stickers. And sorry for the bad focus, um, this is the first time I'm filming a video and I'm going to work more on lighting and focus and everything like that in the future, but yeah. For now, you will see my hat quite a few times. So the first functional pages that I made are a yearly log for 2018. I needed some space where I could pre-plan, where I could write down all the appointments that I had for the month um, prior to setting up the month. So I chose to have three months on each page and that way I ended up with four pages for the yearly log but that leaves me with a ton of space to pre-plan to write down appointments or whatever is going on like school holidays or yeah basically everything like that. Later on I added some shading with a grey tombow but if you want to see that, I could make a separate flip through and show you everything that I made after I filmed the video. Then my camera cut me off and basically all I did was finish the calendar and I made a page for my goals and divided them in personal and like Etsy goals and health goals and my academic goals and work goals which I haven't filled out yet. And then I left a page for my best memories of 2018. For the next two pages I decided I needed to have a little space to write on all the birthdays that were going on in the year. And I drew a cupcake for each month. And then I filled in the month after after all the drawing in, in the little square that I drew around it. I wrote on happy birthday on top and then I'm basically going to list down all the mem uh, all the birthdays that I have in this month. And yeah, later on I filled it uh, with color and made it a bit more fun. For the next page I decided I want to keep track of ideas that I that are popping up for different people to, what to give them for their birthday or for Christmas and sometimes you get this great idea in your mind and when it actually comes to buying the present you forget about that and this happens to me a lot and this way I hope I hope that I won't forget. <laughs> so the next page is one of my favorite pages. I wanted to have a bookshelf type of page where I can keep track of all the books that I've read in the year. I really like reading and I really enjoy it, but I didn't want to have a page full of books like 50 books and this would put a lot of pressure on me and 
even though I'm a fast reader and I love reading, I have lots of phases that I'm going through where I don't want to read and I don't didn't want to put any pressure on me so I decided to add a lot of decorative elements on the page as well and make it a little more fun but still having enough room to write in all the books and if I fill the page up I can always restart a new one so then we get to the movies page I really love going to the cinema or watching a movie at home and I want to keep track of movies that I can't watch right away but want to in the future or if someone tells me oh you have to watch this particular movie it's really great and I just wanted to have a space where I can put them down and reference back whenever I feel like I want to watch a movie. I did for this page was basically drawing out little tickets where I'm going to put in the movie as I go. Added some little decorative pieces and after the video I added some color as well. So next up I wanted to have a space for my favorite food because a lot of times what happens is I don't know what to cook and I just wanted to have a page where I can reference back to um, that has all the food that we liked and I decided later on that I will add little spoons and forks and knives and write in the dishes inside them. Next up I wanted to have room for my TV shows. I chose to have two pages for that but I only drew the televisions on one page because I just didn't feel like drawing anymore at this time and I'm basically going to write down the TV show that I'm watching in the t in inside the TV and like that and then I'm going to add in the seasons and episodes I haven't watched yet and I will be able to cross them off as I go next up I needed a page for all the online orders that I placed that I placed not on Amazon but on other websites where I don't get notifications just to keep track of them and on the right side another one of my favorite spreads or pages collections is a little bit of space for all those friends that I made in the planner community that I'm sending happy mail to or plan to and I'm going to fill in their addresses in the little envelopes that I drew and I added some more decorative pieces like a love letter, a stack of envelopes, a stamp which I will be adding later on and to make those squares look like envelopes I just added some more details. I wanted to make it more creative, a little more visual because I'm a visual person and I I just want to make it a little bit more special. So I drew out my pens. Um, at the top there are the Pigma Microns which are my favorite and I'm drawing everything with the Microns. Then below that are two um, pilot friction pens which are erasable. On the right side I added some paper mania brush markers. Um, they have metallic colors. And on the bottom I added the Aaron Condren dual tip markers which I have in the colorful version as well as in the pastel version. And then I basically went in and for the microns I wrote down the number and the thickness and made a little squiggly line and for the frictions and the paper mania pens I colored in the tips and 
again made some lines with the metallic brush markers I added like, thinner squiggly lines and thicker strokes and for the Erin Condren dual tip markers I wrote out the name in the coding color and those are the pens that I'm currently using in my bullet journal while making this voiceover I just bought some Tombows which I will add in on this page as well at some point next up I wanted a page for tax infos like for stuff that I bought for work or for my training program which I will need um, for my tax form next year and on the right side I wanted to have a page for my shop expenses where I wrote a write down all the supplies that I ordered and when I ordered and if they and how much they were and because I order supplies in bulk this page should be enough for the whole year next up I wanted to have a visual tracker of my period just to make sure that I'm on top of things and know when it's time and just to be prepared on the other side I wanted to have a brain dump page but I called it notes and scribbles because I think that's a little nicer than calling it a brain dump page so next up I wanted to have a place where I write down books that I borrowed to someone else because I tend to forget about that and then I'm standing in front of my bookshelf and get panicked because I can't find certain books on the right side I decided to add a social media tracker but I'm not sure how I want to track Instagram and YouTube if you have ideas hit me up with them I'm still unsure and the last collection that I added is a bill tracker and an income tracker because I have regular and irregular bills and income and I just wanted to keep track of when something was due and when I would get money And here's the final flip through of my 2018 bullet journal. Later on, I added lots of colors, I changed some fonts and added like faux calligraphy, um, added in some more details. Um, and yeah, if you want to see the finished product, the finished collections, I can do a flip through if you want to. Just let me know. But for now, Thank you for watching, bye, see you next time.